Okay, today we're going to be working on shell script uh, tutorials. We're going to be looking at the command called paste, which can do a lot of neat things. Uh, and we're just going to look at a few of them here today. You can see I'm in a folder here with a couple of different text files. And we're going to go over just three basic examples uh, that you can do with paste. If you enjoy my tutorials and would like to see more, please think about contributing to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. So first off, let's look at these example one and example two text files. So I can cat out example one, and you can see it's just a text file that has five lines, and they're numbered one, two, three, four, five. Now if I cat out the second example file, example two, you can see it's five lines as well, A, B, C, D, E. So what we can do here is if we were to, let's say, want to line the first, or each line of the first file with each line of the second file, we can just use the paste command, which you probably already have installed on your system. And I can say example one and example two dot text. And what this is gonna do is you can see it lines them up. Um, now, because these files are named pretty much the same, we can also use an asterisk character like this and just say all files that start with example Boom, it does that. So if the files are named different, you can type out the name of each file. If they all begin with the same, you can use an asterisk like that. So we line them up. There is a big space there. So what we can do is we can tell it uh, what to fill in in, the, in, the, in between each character, a right? delimiter, basically. Uh, so we're going to run the same command, but we're going to say dash D and give it a delimiter. And in this case, I'll say colon. And when we hit enter now, you can see that instead of a tab space, which I believe is what this is, yeah, it seems to be a tab space between each character, which is the default. So if you're trying to make a tab delimited file, default would be fine. Um, but uh, let's say you want to do colons. You can do it like so. Uh, you can also do other characters. I can say dash and have dashes. Could probably do a period. Yeah, there you go. Some characters you might have to put in quotations. So let's say we wanted it to be like each one's numbered and we have a uh, parenthesis on one side there. Uh, we can just do that. This is not going to work, and again, error there, because that's a special character that Bash or your shell is seeing as a different, because I'm not using Bash, I'm using Z, Z shell, as you can see. But uh, if we put it in quotations here, there you go. Now you have that as the limiter. Uh, and yes, uh, I probably titled this video as Bash, but it is I do use Z shell as my default. But uh, actually, let's let's just go into Bash, just to make sure that everything works the same as I should. Since if I'm going to title this a Bash, there you go. Really shouldn't make much of a difference with the stuff we're doing today. Um, okay, so here we are. We did our first example with the example files. If I list out again, you can see that I have three files here labeled Pay One, Pay Two, and Pay Three text. So this is. A scenario I came up with just to show you something else you could do with it and um, this isn't really a very good real-world example because if you're storing your files like this you're not very bright but you know we all start off somewhere but let me cat out you know pay one you can see it has three lines so just theoretically for for this tutorial let's say you're keeping track of your pay in separate files the first line is how much you got paid this week the second line is, let's say, how much they take out in taxes. And because you're a good boy or a girl, the third line is 10% uh, that you put away you know, for savings, because we all should be saving. Um, so that's pay one. Pay two is the same, only you got paid a little bit less, so you saved a little bit less, a little less in taxes. Three, you got paid a little bit more, so you, know, you can see where we're going with this. Okay, so now let's say you wanted to get a total from each week. What we can do here is we can say paste and we can say all our pay files like so. So they lined up. What we can do is for our delimiter dash D we can use a plus sign. So there you can see it put a plus sign. So now we're all ready to add it all up and we can put each line, we're going to use a while loop and take each line and pipe it into the BC command, which is a calculator for your shell here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say while read line. And hopefully you already are familiar with while loops. I've used them all the time and I've done tutorials on them. But what we're saying here is 
read each line. So read this line, this line, this line, and each time you read a line, put it into a variable we're going to call line, but you can call it pretty much whatever you want. And not done, but do, and we're going to say echo dollar sign line, and we're going to pipe that into BC, and then we're going to say done. So it's going to loop, and each time it's going to basically take each line here and add it up. We'll hit enter, and there are your totals for each week. So over a three week period, you uh, made 145, or sorry, $1,450. You had 285 taken out in taxes, and you were able to save a whopping 145. Not too shabby. Um, so now, let's make it a little bit, take it one step further. We can add into our while loop here, we can also say echo, and we can say line, and we can say equals, but when we have special characters like that, we probably want to put this into the curly braces here. I've done a tutorial on that. Basically, in some cases, uh, one time, one case where you might use curly braces is where a variable, you can't really tell where one variable ends and a new uh, string begins. So this is just saying, this is our variable, this is something else, and let's not forget our closing quotation there. Hit enter, and um, oh, so it did it, but it put the new, it does, by default, echo does a new line character. So what we're gonna do is here dash n to say no new line character, and there we go. Let's clear the screen and run that again. Um, there's your weekly totals and the sum. So it just makes it, gives you a little more to read there, a little more output. Okay, so let's look at one more example. And this is, this is one that I can actually see happening and I can find paste being really useful for, is if I list out here, I've got one last text file, it's called people. Let's say that um, you're very low text, so you store all your contacts in a text file. I can tell you 20 years ago, I was doing this. So let's have a look at that text file. We'll cat out people. Oops, we spell it right. And you can see that I have a line with the person's last name, their first name, their address, and a phone number, and then a space. And then we do it again, last name, first name, address, phone number, and a space. And then a third person, last name, first name. So as long as we're formatted properly and each one has its the same number of lines, we can use paste if we wanted to put these all on one line, maybe to prepare it to put it in a real database because you're ready to upgrade your system from using a plain text file that's not very well formatted into maybe a MySQL or even something like a, a, a CSV file. So, or whatever type of format you want that's better than this. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to redirect the outputs. So we're going to say less than symbol here, the name of our text file, and then we're going to say paste. And then we're going to start doing these dashes, and we want a dash for each line. So let's say I just did two there. You can start to see that it starts moving stuff around. Now we have four lines for each person, but we also have to count this empty line. So we're going to want five dashes, each with a space in between them. Now that we've done that, we now have a nicely formatted uh, tab delimited file here that uh, each person has their own line rather than having them on multiple lines. And I'm going to try something that I didn't try before recording this tutorial. And I don't know if this is going to work, but let's say you want to make this a comma separated file. We can say D comma uh, for delimiter and maybe it does work. And now you're pretty much ready, as long as there's no other commas in the text file itself, you can import this right into an, a MySQL file. Or pipe it into a, more of a script where maybe you can create a JSON output, or yeah, that would be a good one there. And either or, you can import into most databases. So that's a look at the paste command. Um, very useful for certain things, and I hope that these examples gave you a uh, uh, you know, idea of where they may be able to help you. I know that uh, probably about 10 years ago, uh, this, this last option here would have come in real handy for me, because like I said, I was saving stuff in text files, kind of like, like I was up here. But that was, that was a long time ago. I don't do that anymore. 
So, uh, as always, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. Uh, and as always, I hope that you have a great day. I would like to take a moment to thank the following patrons who made this video possible by supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And then decided that it was taking forever and let it keep running. And before it finished running, he learned how to write a C program, uh, ran it, and it calculated numbers and the, and the bash script. And uh, do you remember this? Yeah, or? yeah. No, I think even, I wouldn't even.